Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Geomusica. In this tutorial we will be focusing on the basic installation. And for that you will need to, if you haven't, install Touch Designer from Derivative. You can find the Get It Now button and download the current official. If you are somewhere in the future, probably this number will be different. You can check on the README file of Geomusica which version you should download. And then you just scroll down to the official downloads and select the corresponding download. Geomusica right now it's only available in Windows version. You can try to run it on a Mac on your own and if you run into any issues you can contact me and I will consider supporting also the Mac platform. Boom, 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 boom. Once that's done, if you open the folder where Geomusica is installed on your computer, you can just run the batch file called geomusica.bat. If you see here, this number here should be the same number as the Touch Designer version. You can also, while you're waiting for the process to open, check out the README file and learn a bit about the software. Once the software opens, you will see four processes. You'll have the render, the UI, the engine, and the synth. For now, for basic installation purposes, let's focus only on the engine. If you are running Geomusica on a single computer, you will need not to change any of these values. So the only thing you need to set up, actually, it's the MIDI output. I would recommend you to use Loop MIDI from Tobias Ericsson to generate a virtual port so you can send the notes from Geomusica into your favorite synth or actually your favorite digital audio workstation. For that you just need to select the port And now, for some interface overview. Mm 